family home that costs around £30 a year to heat, has no adverse impact on global warming and features a contemporary open plan design created around a busy modern family. Stuff of dreams, perhaps? Well, no. This is a vision of how all new homes will look in just nine years' time. And we can see a prototype for this brave new world of house building right here and now. I'm at the building research establishment in Watford and this is the Kingspan Lighthouse. From the outside it looks like a very modern building, clad in timber and featuring an unusual sloping roof that curves around seamlessly to join up with one of the house's walls. The only clue to its environmental features being some solar panels visible on that sloping roof. But there's much more to this house than just a futuristic design and a few solar panels. I'm here with Jonathan Jennings, Divisional Sustainability Manager for Kingspan Offsite, the company behind the lighthouse. Jonathan, what is the lighthouse and why was it built? The lighthouse is the first level six house under the government's new programme, the Code for Sustainable Homes, and that basically means that all the energy in the house is generated from renewable sources um, and that it's a really well insulated um, building that it has very low energy demand. And what's the difference between this level six house and the normal houses we see today? Normal houses today, built to the regulations, um, this house is probably 144% more energy efficient than the existing housing stock that's out there, new built. And what exactly does a level six house have to achieve? Basically all your electricity must be generated on site. So we've lots of photovoltaics on there generating power from the sun. We must get the house really well insulated. So it's got to be down at very low levels of U values. It must be airtight and we have really well insulated windows. And what level are we at now? At the moment we're probably not even registering on the code for sustainable homes, it's probably sub uh, one, even zero, um, and we're going right up to level six and mandatory level six by 2016, so a long way for industry to go. Mm. Let's go inside and have a closer Absolutely. The first thing you notice is how light and airy it is. You'd think it would cost a lot to keep it warm. On the contrary, it's actually, it costs very little to keep it warm because it's so well insulated and airtight. You must need heat. I don't see any radiators. We've got a mechanical ventilation system constantly bringing fresh air into all the rooms of the house and also taking out the stale air. And while taking out the stale air, it transfers the heat from the stale air to the fresh air coming in, giving us warm, fresh air. And to top it up, we've got a boiler as well linked into that. The biomass boiler uses these small wood pellets and these cost £31 for the whole year for the house to be heated. You mentioned special insulation. What sort of thing are we talking about? The Kingspan Lighthouse is built from a tech panel. The uh, tech panel basically is made up of OSB, so that's like plywood, bonded to insulation. So you get really good levels on U values and you also have inherent air tightness because this is a foam product. So it's really good in terms of the fabric for energy. U values and air tightness. By incorporating um, cement board on the ceilings, it allows us to put in a designed level of thermal capacity instead of having redundant thermal mass as you would have in other structures. And this allows us to control the temperature within the house. The ventilation within the house as well, we've mentioned the mechanical heat recovery ventilation. That system can also allow us to dump lots of hot air out of the house when the house does get above temperature. Using these measures, we can easily accommodate any future climate change. What about energy for cooking and washing? Well, all the appliances are low energy appliances. That means they're A++ on the European energy rating scale. All the lights, the fans, the pumps, all that technology has to have its electricity from a renewable source. So we have solar panels on the roof generating all our electricity for all the appliances, all the electrical needs of the house. You mentioned earlier on we're currently at level three or lower. What is the general difference between level 3 and level 6? The big difference between a level 6 house and level 3, obviously one is the fabric. So we have a structure that we relax the U values on. We also can relax on, on the uh, air tightness. The other primary difference obviously is the electricity. On level 6, all the electricity must be generated on the house, so we use the solar photovoltaics for that. If we were looking at a solution for level 3, Kingspan Offsite has a family of products that can definitely meet the U-value requirements and the air tightness, including timber frame, steel frame and tech as we had on the level 6 house. The other thing you would need on a level 3 house would be uh, heat recovery ventilation, providing all the fresh air into the house and you'd use that as your heating system as well. We also need to consider the water usage in the house. 
So including reducing the, the water demand that we have, we can supplement that with Kingspan Enviro product, uh, the rainwater harvesting tank, and that can be used on your washing machine and certainly for irrigation of the garden. The house has just been visited by some senior people from a national house builder. I'm going to find out what they thought about it. You've just been round the lighthouse. What were your impressions of it? Very good. It's uh, nice and airy. It's got a great feel to the place. Um, it's a beautiful place to... Uh, it's a great space to, to live in, I think. It feels very fresh in here, and I can completely see you know, with the bad air going out and the clean air coming in with no need for, for heating and no need for um, any additional cooling system. What impressed you the most about it? The heating. Um, the biomass boiler, not uh, having much more than 30 quid's worth of fuel a year and uh, the use of uh, photovoltaics. Uh, for me it was how light and airy it was. Uh, I like the products that have been used, especially the timber, I think it really gives a really good feel. It looks very stylish. I think that the perception to the public of something like a zero carbon house would be that it's not particularly stylish, not particularly you know, family friendly house, but it actually shows that you can live in an environment such as this. You wouldn't necessarily know that it's an environmental house. Peter, can you explain to me how the code affects the average man in the street? Well, the code's going to have a very significant effect over the next 10 years and beyond. What government have done is to say, we have to do something significant about climate change, and because the houses we live in and the energy we use in our homes has such a, a large contributory, contributory factor to climate change, you know, about 30% of the CO2 emissions in the UK come from the way we live in our homes, then we have to demand that new houses in 10 years are, are what's called carbon neutral. That means that, that their net effect on CO2 emissions is, is negated, there's no effect. What that means for us is it means the homes we live in will be fairly different to the ones that we live in today. Uh, they can still have variety in terms of how they look, how they're designed, the internal layout in terms of size of rooms and that sort of thing, but they'll be very much more energy efficient. In this house in particular, the lighthouse, you know, it's fairly different looking, but when you come inside it's not that different to a normal home, it has a nice use of space. But if you look at the roof and things like that, you'll have seen photovoltaics and other ways of generating renewable energy to compensate for the very small amount of energy that you need to actually run your home with. Along with low flush toilets and spray taps, water from the shower and small bath is recycled and fed through a grey water system located behind this mirror that provides water for flushing. It seems as though every impact on sustainability has been thought of. So is this the shape of homes to come? A super insulated shell with highly efficient ventilation and cooling that's light and airy and designed for modern day family life. And as well as reducing our impact on the environment and cutting costs to virtually nothing, there's one more piece of good news. Level 6 houses like the Lighthouse are exempt from stamp duty.